Woman accusing Mario Batali of sexually assaulting her at a Boston bar just wrapped up hours of testimony, which means there were long periods of cross examination in which Batali's attorney tried to poke holes in her story and question her motives. She was the first witness called after Batali waived his right to a jury trial, and WBZ's Paul Burton is live in Boston with the latest tonight. Paul? Batali's accuser says all she wanted from the celebrity chef was a selfie. In her sworn testimony today, she says that's when he touched her all over her body. But then the defense says, hold on a second, and question why she stuck around for such a long time to take 10 photos and video pictures with the celebrity chef that lasted several minutes. Celebrity chef Mari Batali arrived in Boston Municipal Court for his sexual assault trial on Monday without saying a word. The 61-year-old faces a charge of indecent assault and battery for allegedly inappropriately touching and kissing a woman without her consent in a back bay bar back in 2017. This morning, he waived his right to a jury and faced his female accuser who says the alleged incident happened after the two were taking a selfie together. Photos and videos of the two were shown in court. She described him as drunk and slurring his words. When we went to go take the selfie, he had his hands all over my body, all over sensitive areas in between my legs, my rear end, my breasts. His face was all over mine. His tongue was in my ears. During cross-examination, Batali's attorney said the photos on her phone are without merit and do not show assault and battery. After he said, is that good? You went back and got another selfie with him, right? Yes. Because he wasn't assaulting. Yes, he was. The defense also referenced text messages the accuser shared with a friend, making light of the incident and argued she's only out for financial gain. So when you wrote um, December 11, 2017 at 6.05, like, pay me 10K or I post them all. I never knew what to do when a celebrity violates you. You weren't violated. You didn't, you didn't assault you. Yes, yes. Batali, who has cooked at the White House for the Obamas, hosted several television shows and built a food industry empire that at its peak was worth $250 million. The accuser says she's speaking out now because she doesn't want to see anyone else harmed. I was going to be brave. I was going to put my name out there, my face out there, and just own it. Own what happened to me and take control back. If found guilty, Vitaly could face up to two and a half years in jail. The trial will resume again tomorrow morning. Live in Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.